गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल इज द ऑडियो क्लियर एंड वीडियो थैंक यू तो एनी क्वेरीज टू डेली टेस्ट okay don't worry then please keep a note of those problems yet you are free time please solve the problems and you can ask the doubts in telegram since everyone is concentrating on prelims so please go ahead so randomly for today's topic also i will post the daily test if you have done it is well otherwise we will discuss after prelims or randomly at your free time thank you so let us start our today session on calci euler equation lesenders equation and reduction method so this is the module of today's session on discussing these three methods higher order differential equations will be completed completely then laplace transforms will be done by venkana sir later okay so this completes 70% of ode so shall i continue with the part in a due course of time since sir has been resumed today with complex analysis simultaneously he will cover this thing also fine otherwise i will come back and i will finish the part so first of all cauchy euler equation is it comes under the part of variable coefficients the typical form of cauchy euler equation is x power n d power n plus some constant into x power n minus 1 d power n minus 1 plus so on plus x d plus constant t this is the general form of cauchy euler equation in a simple manner since we are discussing about second and third order differential equations the simple technique here to follow is the power of d and x must coincide if the given equation is not in that form we try to convert into that form and we will solve the equation so we can simply say like this x square d square plus some constant into x d plus some value of y is equal to q so it is a second order differential equation which is cauchy euler equation see power of d and x must coincide fine are you getting the idea behind it so please take a note of that the procedure to solve this equation is in place of x d we go for a substitution right in other words we are converting variable coefficients into constant coefficients by means of a substitution the thing is you substitute x equal to e power t or t is equal to log x so if you consider the derivatives say if you have written dy by dx can be as dy by dt into dt by dx and we use the symbol say theta for d by dt as per the problem 
capital D stands for d by dx. By using this substitution, it will be converted into constant coefficients and these values will be replaced with the following. So we replace xd with theta, x square d square, theta into theta minus 1, x cube d cube, theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and so on. By doing the successive differentiation here, you will get these values. However, in exam, we just mention these things only. Substitute x equal to e power t or t is equal to log x, then x d is equal to theta, x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1 and so on, where theta is nothing but d by dt. Apart from theta, you can use other symbol also. That's up to your choice. Okay? Are you getting the idea? Now, by doing these substitutions, the remaining procedure is as usual. So, we are going to evaluate y. So, y is equal to yc plus yb. We follow the regular procedures or methods what we have discussed so far. So here, in writing yc, we will write like this, c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t like that, where after evaluating the complete answer, in place of t, we go for the substitution. That is the approach or methodology to solve this problem. So please take a note of these substitutions, then I will go for a problem which gives you clear idea. After noting this, please inform. And in examination point of view, this model is most important. The weightage will be 15 marks whenever a problem on Kachiul equation is asked. After noting, please inform. The thing you were saying this. Is this accepted? Okay. Similarly, again you take the same value, go for double differentiation. I will give the differentiation part. I will post it in telegram, you can check that. If you have a doubt with regard to the derivation. Fine? Right. So, let us take the problem. So, x square into d square by dx square minus 2x into d by dx and then minus 4y equal to x square. Please take a note of that. So if you write the operator form for this problem, it is x square d square minus 2xd minus 4 of y is equal to x square where d stands for d by dx. Again we mentioned that put x equal to e power t or t is equal to log x and the remaining follows. 
x d is equal to theta x square d square equal to theta into theta minus 1 and so on where theta is equal to d by dt so substituting these values theta into theta minus 1 minus 2 theta minus 4 of y is equal to e power 2t please check that And if you simplify this form, theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 of y is equal to e power 2d. Any questions here? So can you find the complementary function yc here? Finding the roots is as usual. We mentioned that m square minus 3m minus 4 equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation. So m equals to minus 1 comma 4. Hence the corresponding yc is given by c1 e power t plus c2 e power 4t. However, you can substitute the value of t here. This one will be c1 e power minus log x plus c2 e power 4 log x. So which gives that c1 by x plus c2 x power 4. So please confirm that whether I have done correctly or not. So we are going to find the, comp the particular solution yp. So for yp, 1 by f of theta into q or q1 you can call. So 1 by theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 of e power 2d. So we follow the regular procedure. Whenever e power ax is there, the power a should be substituted in place of the differential. So if you substitute the value, the value is 1 by 6. This will be 1 by 6 into e power 2 log x. So x square by 6. Therefore, general solution is given by y is equal to yc plus yp. Please check that. Yeah, minus. So all of you agree with that? So I want to take two more models on this Cauchy-Euler equation, which gives you the variation. Shall I erase this? All of you have noted. So the problem is x cube d cube plus 3x square d square plus xd plus 1 of y is equal to x plus log x. So I ask you to substitute the respective values. So will it satisfy the criteria of cauchy euler since the power of d and power of x both coincide? Fine. So substituting these values, 
I'm going to write the value. You can check on that. So please confirm the value by doing yourself. Fine. So can you write the complementary function? So I will write the rules that m is equal to minus one comma m is equal to One plus or minus root three i by two. Please go for the roots. Fine. So the complementary function is given by y c is equal to c one e power minus t plus e power t by two. C one cos root three by two x. This one is used to c two c three. 3 sin root 3 by 2x. I mean, t we have to take here. Here the differential is t here. All of you agree with y c value. So substituting the respect to t value, it will be t1 by x plus e power log x by 2. Of t two cos root three by two log x plus c three sin root three by two log x. Please check that. Okay. Now we find yp. So one by theta cube plus one to t plus e power t. We are going to apply this value to the two functions individually. So one by theta cube plus one of t plus one by theta cube plus one of e power t. For this. We are going to use x power n module. We have to feel that it is t power n like that. So we are going to write the denominator as one plus or minus something. So if you apply that criteria here, it will come as one plus theta cube whole power minus one of t plus. Here by substituting the power one, we are going to get one by four e power t. Applying the expansion, it is one minus theta cube of t plus one by four e power t. So which gives that t plus one by four e power t equals to log x plus x by four. X by two. Oh, sorry. Fine. Accepted. So please take a note of that. Then I go to the other model in this. Here, x power four d cube plus two x cube d square minus x square d plus x of y 
is equal to 1. So will it come under Cartier-Euler equation? So to bring into Cartier-Euler equation, we have to divide with x on both sides. So it will come as x cube d cube plus 2x square d square minus x d plus 1 of y is equal to 1 by x. In order to say that it is Cartier-Euler, x and d must have equal power. Now you substitute the respective values here and give me the output in theta. I will write the right side value. It is e power minus t. Can check on yourself theta cube minus theta square minus theta plus one. So, all of you check on yourself whether the coefficient achieved correctly or not. Then tell me if possible, find the YC also. Give me the roots. Plus theta, is that correct? Plus theta. Minus theta, right? Because this is minus x d, this will be replaced with theta, right? All of you agree with this coefficient? Any doubts? Fine. If you find the roots of it, m cube minus m square minus m plus 1 equal to 0, m comes as 1 minus 1, 1. So the corresponding yc is given by c1 e power t plus c2 t e power t because 1 is the repeated root and then t3 e power minus t. So transforming in terms of x, it will come as c1x plus c2 x log x plus c3 by x. Accepted? Fine. So coming to YP. So 1 by theta cube minus theta square minus theta plus 1 into e power minus t. Since minus 1 is a root, obviously denominator becomes undefined. So if you make it into factorization, theta plus 1 into theta minus 1 to theta minus 1 e power minus t. So this factor we are going to leave. So t by 1 factorial, 1 by, if you substitute minus 1 here, accept it, it will become plus 4, right. So equals to t means log x, log x by 4 into e power minus t means 1 by x. There you are going to write final answer y is equal to yc plus yp. I just want to take one more on this model. I think there we can wind up our discussion on this Cartier-Euler. Is that sufficient, the practice on Cartier-Euler? By taking one more problem on it. If you have noted this, please inform, I will go with the next one. If you require other kind of models also, I will go with them. With respect to Kachi Euler, if you require more practice. So 
shall I proceed? Okay. So consider the problem x square d square minus 3xd plus 5 of y is equal to x square sine of log x. It is given in that particular form typically. So you please give me the corresponding coefficient here. By substituting the respective values. Theta square minus 4 theta plus 5. Is that right? Yeah. So theta square minus 4 theta plus 5 of y is equal to e power 2t into sine t. So can you post the values to me? 2 plus r minus i. That's fine. So m is equal to 2 plus r minus i. So yc is equal to <coughs> power 2t into c1 cos t plus c2 sin t. So converting in rotation it will be x square into c1 cos of log x plus c2 sin of log x. Accept it? Fine. Let us go with yp. So yp is equal to 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 5 into e power 2t into sin t. So here we are going to use the methodology that e power ax into v is of the form. So by applying this technology e power 2t comes to the front theta should be replaced with theta plus 2 whole square minus 4 into theta plus 2 plus 5 of sine t. So can you simplify this for me? The value? Theta square plus 1? A theta square, yeah. So, we are going to apply the formula here. So, e power 2t into minus e by 2 into 1 of cos t. Can you remember this formula? of you. 1 by d square plus a square into sin ax is equal to minus x by 2a into cos ax. Accepted? Right. Now substituting the values here, it will be minus x square by 2. T means log x into cos of log x. And y is equal to yc plus yp is the general solution. So the ideology of cauchy euler equation is totally based on the five methods which we have learned earlier. For ax, x square, cos or sine functions, e power ax into something, x into sine or cos functions. So if you know these methods perfectly, cauchy euler is nothing but just converting variable coefficients into constant coefficients applying the previous methodology as it is, at the end we replace t with the corresponding function value. Fine? Right. If all of you have clear with cauchy euler then I am going to take with Legendre equation.
Please take a note of that. So did you feel any difficulty earlier in solving the problems using the five methodologies discussed? The five formulae. The only thing left with you is just having a practice on them. Am I correct? Consistent practice makes you to do them perfectly. That is the only thing. Because what is the simplest and easiest one compared to all in paper one. So shall I erase? Okay. So let us go with Legendre's equation. The methodology in solving Legendre's equation is just similar to Cauchy-Euler. As we know, what is meant by Cauchy-Euler equation? Let me write it again. Suppose if you have taken a second order Cauchy-Euler equation. So here we are comparing that x and d should have equal power. Similarly, apart from x, if I have taken a function a linear polynomial. Let me say ax plus b satisfying the same criteria that this polynomial and d has equal power. So ax plus b whole square d square ax plus b into d plus some value of y is equal to some function. Clear? So this is nothing but Legendre's equation. Are you getting the idea? Or no? Right. So, as we are going to substitute the function earlier, so here we substitute that put ax plus b is equal to e power t or t is equal to log of ax plus b. Again, going for the successive differentiation as we do earlier, here also we replace the same thing. So ax plus b of d will be replaced with a into theta. The same things, yes, only polynomial. The problems will be asked by taking the first degree polynomials, usually, not more than that. I can say it was asked very less compared to previous three questions. Majority of the questions are based on Kachi only. Occasionally you can have Legendre's. So the problem is typical say. Otherwise this won't be given in the exam. But if you know the idea, ideology, it is very easy for you to solve. So ax plus b whole square into d square is equal to a square into theta into theta minus 1 like that. So same cauchy values will come theta, theta into theta minus 1, theta into theta minus 1, theta minus 2 and so on. The only thing is you have a coefficient here a, a square, a cube, a power 4 and so on. Remaining procedure is as usual as we saw earlier. Nothing is changed. Okay. I will post the derivative part how it comes. In the telegram, you can check at the free time. How the differentials are going to vary. Accept it. So please take a note of the approach. We will take randomly one or two problems on this method.
after noting that content, please inform. Okay. So please take a note of the problem. After noting, please inform. Shall I proceed? Yeah. So here you have to take x plus 1 is equal to e power t. You please compare with this that it is of the form ax plus b, where a value is 1, b value is 1. So here you have t is equal to log of x plus 1. Substituting these values in the given equation, you have theta into theta minus 1 plus theta plus 1 of y is equal to 2 sine t. And you can simplify that. Accept it. Now I think that you can have the correlation between Kachi, Euler and Legenders, everyone. Initially I have taken a simple problem for you. Right. So if you write YC, so it is a T1 cos T plus C2 sin T, nothing but C1 cos log of 1 plus X plus C2 sin log of 1 plus X. It will come like that. Accept it. And then coming to YP, so 1 by theta square plus 1 into 2 sin T. Applying the same formula, what we have learned earlier, so minus 2 into 2 by 2 into 1, I mean x into cos t, 2 gets cancelled, here you have take t here, so minus t cos t, minus of log of x plus 1, cos log of x plus 1. Please check on that. And general solution is given by y is equal to yc plus yp. So can I take the other one on the same model? Can I erase this? Fine. So note down the problem that 1 plus 2x whole square d square by dx square minus 6 into 1 plus 2x into d by dx plus 16y is equal to 8 into 1 plus 2x whole square. Please go with it. If you have applied the formula, 2x plus 1 will be equivalent to ax plus b. So a value is 2 here. So 1 plus 2x into d by dx will be replaced with 2. Theta y.
accepted and 1 plus 2x will be taken as t power t is check and t is equal to log of 1 plus 2x is anyone has any doubt in replacing the function with corresponding differentials to anyone no is that clear to all in the substitution fine so you please simplify that and give me the output let me do i will write let us go on checking that So on substituting these values, you are going to get the function as 4 theta square minus 16 theta plus 16 of y is equal to 8 e power 2d. Accept it. Please check. Fine. Everyone has achieved at this step. I will go further. So, what are the roots? Yes. So, C1 e power 2t plus C2 e power 2t into t, adding but C1 as t is equal to log x. Do you accept for this value? The value of YC. C1 into 1 plus 2x whole square plus C2 into log of 1 plus 2x into 1 plus 2x whole square. Fine. So let us go with YP yp is equal to 1 by 4 theta square minus 16 theta plus 16 into 8 e power 2 t. Since 2 is the root of it, we have to remove the factors here. So can you do it on your own? Please go ahead. I will write the solution part for you. You can check. T square e power 2t on removing the factors. If anybody has any doubt, you can ask. We will re-explain that. Any questions for anybody here? How the value of t square e power 2t will come? Okay. Thank you. So I just want to take one small thing on this legendary equation. I, do, I just uh, want to give the idea here. I don't want to solve the problem so that you can have the typical thing or the 
difficult thing on legendus which gives an idea how a difficult problem will be asked on legendus the procedure is simple nothing difficult at all the simplification part in the problem is simple okay i will proceed now so please note down the problem that x plus 2 whole square of d square plus 3 into 3x plus 2 into d minus 36 of y is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1 now see on observing this we can say that it is a problem based on legendre's equation because the linear polynomial is there 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 straight away you can substitute that 3x plus 2 is equal to e power t or t is equal to log of 3x plus 2 and respect to change will be made here the only thing is how to simplify the rhs there because rhs should be converted in the known function right how to convert that so that is my task for you can you elaborate that So plus 2x minus 2x. That's a great idea. So 3x square plus 2x minus 2x plus 1. If you take like that, fine. So one way you can say x into 3x plus 2 will come. Then you are left with this thing. However. i will write the answer you check on with you it is going to come like this 4t minus 1 into e power t minus 2 by 3 plus 1 this simplified manner e power t minus 1 into e power t plus 1 by 3 at the end the answer is e power 2t minus 1 by 27 the right hand side value will come like this on simplification so i am giving the answer there you try on your own if you didn't get i will post it separately my intention is the difficulty will be asked in this model the maximum difficulty however if a question is asked in this model the weight should be definitely 20 marks on legendus as to convert the right hand side we require time so 1 by 3 into 3 s plus 2 whole square minus 1 by 3 fine that is a good idea this is what you have tried minus 1 by 3 is also in the denominator okay however 1 by 3 separate okay right i am giving the ideals here don't think more about this problem i am giving an idea that the maximum difficulty will be asked in such a way on the right hand side Straight away, the function will not be given on substitution. You have to modify the function, then only you are going to get the idea. Okay. So the simplified part in the book, I have given that e power two t minus one by twenty seven. Take it as a practice. I will post the solution separately. Please don't bother, because in the examination point of view, legendus is given less priority. So as we have mentioned, three x plus two whole square. Minus one whole by three, right? Yes. It will come in that manner. Thank you. So 
if everyone is clear with the Cartier and Legenders, I am going to talk with the method that is reduction method. Shall I complete that? Just note down the problem. Nothing is required for you except this. Just note down the problem and I think what you have mentioned there, the right hand side part. For ODE, I have done 70% of it. The only thing left with ODE is Laplace transforms. We covered at the most five or six sessions by Venkana sir. However, if sir didn't find the time, I will come back and I will finish that part, Laplace transforms. Could you recollect total how many classes we have taken so far? At the most 15 or 20? Yes. 20 hours at the most. So if everyone is well versed with Laplace transforms, the maximum thing we take for it is 30 hours, 15 sessions. I mean, so I will come back because I'm not going to take the other topic because I have to do another work, but I will be back soon. In the middle, when Kanasar will cover the classes. I know how many of you are attending for the test series this year going to be started after prelims in the month of June or July. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. LC is allowed for the second thing without any hesitation. For first thing, I hope it is also allowed. So let us go with the reduction method now. It will be interesting to you. Just please recollect the previous class what we have done. We have described a typical method that whenever you have taken a second order differential equation, there we are going to use the methodology that we are going to find one function u. And y is equal to uv is the general solution. And where v is to be found using the formula Can you regret this once again? Yeah. There what happens if RHS is zero, then also we are going to apply the same methodology here. And usually this method takes somewhat a little time, more compared to the regular methods. So for the same kind of differential equation, the second order, Whenever one function is given to find the general solution, another method is there. We call it as reduction method. Both are somewhat similar in the approach, but apart from remembering this big formula, one formula is given straight away by substituting the values there, you are going to get the solution. Okay? That is the ideology. So to solve the homogeneous equation, that is when RHS is zero, that is typically R is zero. 
when one solution is given to find the other solution v we are using this reduction method so i will write the formula you please just take a note of that and i want to take just one or two problems on it so we are going to make use of this method at the most whenever our general methods are not worked out yes the right hand side part is zero for the homogeneous thing and one function is given or you are going to make use of that by using p plus qx is equal to 0 etc etc that also you can use that so here if y is equal to f of x is a solution then y is equal to c1 into f of x plus c2 into p into f of x is general solution where p is defined by integral Please take a note of that. So we are considering the form in the value of p of x into y double dash. This kind of equation we are solving it. So please note down the equation form also. So we are applying this method called as reduction method whenever the RHS is zero. So we are applying for the homogeneous thing only. So we can make use of this method whenever variation of parameters problem is asked with variable coefficients. Because a problem is given, let me say f of d into y is equal to q is asked on variation of parameters. In which f of d contains variable coefficients. Yes, we take one example also. Now see, this is typically nothing but a complementary function. Accepted. C1 into some function plus C2 into some function. So to apply variation of parameters that is to calculate yp we require two functions in other words to calculate the complementary function reduction method is somewhat useful so one solution we can easily find or it will be given in the problem the other solution we are going to make use of this by using this technique and yp will be calculated by using variation of parameters so let us take one problem here which gives you clear idea one problem is sufficient for you. I hope so. So please take that x into y double dash minus of x plus 1 into y dash plus y equal to 0 where x is greater than 0.
where one solution is e power x. Fine. In the formula, I have written that v is equal to integral one function you have f of x whole square e power minus integral q of x by p of x dx. Am I correct? Take okay. the formula which is mentioned there. Right. So if you compare that, p of x is equal to x, q of x is equal to minus half x plus one. So first we evaluate this value separately and f of x is equal to e power x which is given the problem. So e power minus integral minus of x plus 1 by x dx minus gets cancelled. e power integral 1 plus 1 by x dx is there. So e power x into or log x. Am I correct here in writing the thing? Okay. I have just evaluated only this part. Q of x by p, q of x is nothing but minus of x plus 1 by x, 1 plus 1 by x. Accepted with that value? Or no? So, if we substitute the values there, integral x e power x by e power x whole square dx, v is equal to is x into e power minus x dx. Simplify the value, the value is minus of x plus 1 into e power minus x. So do you accept with this step, yes or no? 1 plus 1 by x, right? So, to simplify here, it will be e power x plus log x, accepted? Right? So if you separate the values, it is e power x into e power log x. So x e power x will come, accepted or still you have a doubt, right. So this is v value and the final solution is given by i is equal to c1 f of x plus c2 into c into f of x. So c1 e power x plus c2 into v means minus of x plus 1 into e power minus x in the f of x means e power x. So you can feel the difference that the final answer is given by c1 e power x plus or minus c2 of x plus 1. So this is the complementary function value. So in this way reduction method is useful determine the complementary function for the homogeneous problems. For non-homogeneous, we have the standard methods, we stick on to them without any change. So this method has the main advantage 
whenever a problem is asked on variation of parameters with variable coefficients so that one function in the complementary part is known right other function we have to determine however if the two functions are to be determined by us then what happens we are going to follow the procedure that p plus 2x 1 plus p plus q so on among these two things obviously one formula will give us a solution for the other we are going to apply the reduction method so complementary function will be evaluated very easily rest of the part will be done by variation of parameters to evaluate yp okay so here i want to conclude the discussion if you have any other queries you can ask otherwise let us stop our discussion here i will resume later and if any doubts are there with you with regard to any approach of the previous problem so far discussed i will take one doubt clarifying session tomorrow for half an hour to one hour as per your needs otherwise there will be no more session tomorrow this is the end of ode on my side with regard to higher order differential equations i mainly concentrated on solving the methods and procedures only not the theoretical part laplace transforms will be taken by venkana sir however if sir didn't find a time i will come back i will take this session within five sessions because it is a small part because everyone has studied that thing at btech level doing laplace transforms more i hope so so with regard to previous questions or doubt clarification did you require any session for tomorrow or not required i request that you please post your queries i will clarify your doubts i ask that any procedure doubts are there for you with regard to a question Are clear with that? See, we are mainly using this method to find complementary function, right? Even the QVs there, you can method find it. It is useful only for finding complementary function. In variation of parameters, what I am saying, when Q is there, for finding Y P, we have to use variation of parameters only. To find Y C, we use this method when one function is given to determine the other function. so especially when homogeneous functions equation is given q is not there so it contains only yc that's why we are using this method because the previous method is somewhat difficult right p plus 2 by u into du by dx etc variable separable otherwise we were going to apply linear differential equation method there apart from it is straight away the simple formula that's why we are using this so for any procedure doubts you post your questions in telegram so based on that i will take a doubt clarifying session tomorrow or if the doubts are easily solvable i will post a solution telegram itself right these two things will be completed before prelims complex and laplace transforms take it for granted may know how many of you have studied laplace transforms earlier is back right same thing is done with d also but d contains more methods laplace transforms we have fixed formula so based on the formula we are going to evaluate that is the only thing with that thank you yes various of parameters for variable coefficients too i have taken the problem for it also in the previous class just let me if you have a doubt just let me take one problem on that so that you have a clear idea just hold on a second i will take a simple problem for you which gives what i am talking about
just hold on a second. So please take that this d square plus x d minus 1 of y is equal to x square e power x. Actually, this is Cartier equation, right? Accepted. All. If the same problem is given for various of parameters, how to solve it? So, if you say that, it will say e plus q x equal to zero. So what happens y is equal to x is a part of complementary function. Why I have taken to apply this formula, this won't contain any coefficient. So we divide the entire thing with x square. So it will come as d square plus 1 by x into d minus 1 by x square of y is equal to e power x. By converting the given equation into this form, we check the condition that t plus qx equal to 0. So y is equal to x is a solution. So what happens if we calculate yc, yc is equal to c1x plus c2 into something. Accept it? yc is nothing but c1x plus c2 into something. To determine the other function, if it is possible to check with other conditions like 1 plus p plus q, 1 minus p plus q, etc. It is okay. Otherwise, I have given the reduction method earlier. We are going to apply the same reduction method here. Okay, let me check with this whether the method is useful here or not. So here is equal to 1, is equal to 1 by x x is one solution, so you have t is equal to integral f of x whole square p power minus integral 2 of x by p of x dx. Can you evaluate that? By taking the respective values here. So I will say on the simplification you are going to get the yc value as yc is equal to c1x plus c2 by x. So one function is x, another function is 1 by x and you are going to apply variation of parameters yp is equal to a into u plus b into v as usual by writing the values of a and b. Is it clear now with regard to variable coefficients of variation of parameters. Right? So that is my intention there. Yeah. That kind of problem is asked earlier. Accepted? Right. Yes, for 15 marks it is. So I, I think as per the examination point of view, I have covered all the models. So once you have cleared with the prelims, you do the thing as I have mentioned in the previous session, taking that one person should take one year, 2010, 2011, 2012, etc. So you allocate yourself to solve the question and post it directly in Telegram. Everyone will take a copy of that. The questions which are difficult for you, you left them as a doubt and we are going to solve it and post the respective solution. So may I know when you are going to do after prelims or before prelims? You got the ODE only, up to higher order differential equations. Okay, so you take after prelims. So that is the end of our session. For tomorrow's session, you can ask your queries in Telegram. So based on that, I will take a doubt clarifying session for that. Otherwise, I will clarify your doubts in Telegram itself.
that's all for the day. Thanks to all.